Live from the Sands Convention Center, Las Vegas, Nevada. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube. Covering AWS reInvent 2015. Now your host, John Furrier and Brian Grazley. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are live here in Las Vegas for Amazon reInvent. This is Silicon Angle's The Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier. With my co-host Brian Grace Lee, and I'll wikibon.com. And our next guest is Matt Terry, VP of Product Management at Coney Mobile App. Great award, win always winning awards. Congratulations. Right, welcome you. to The Cube. Thank you, thanks for having me. So you're a product guy, so you're pretty happy with the results of all the awards. And so explain to the folks out there what you guys do and your role with Amazon and why the success. Right, so our background is providing mobile solutions to big enterprises, and that includes both building on the front end and uh, mobile infrastructure on the back end. So the uh, best categorization of us is by uh, Gartner's uh, Mad P quadrant, so mobile application development, um, and then uh, Forrester calls us a mobile infrastructure services. So they both released their latest waves and we're a leader in both, so we're obviously very excited about that. And what's the role with Amazon? You guys on Amazon, your clients are on Amazon, you use Amazon, right. tell us so about. Historically, our large enterprise customers have always been on premise and we've offered that solution, but you know, as everyone's moving to the cloud, they need a hosted, uh, hosted solution from us, and we've uh, chosen Amazon. We started that journey about two years ago. We launched our cloud offering on Amazon. Um, so they now have an option. They can still go on premise that they want to, but if they want us to host on what we call the Coney Cloud, that's all based on AWS. And that's in the marketplace? They have, we have they two offerings. Um, we provide our own SaaS-based offering, so they can come to our website, sign Dial. up for a free trial, everything provisions, we manage it for them. But there's also an offering via uh, AWS Marketplace where they can spin up our software in their own AWS account and manage it themselves. And we have two offerings there. There's even a free developer edition, um, which is no software cost to them. And then there's a larger offering on larger hardware uh, that does include both software and infrastructure costs. I mean, you know, two billion devices out there now in terms of mobile, mobile phones, whether those are Android or iOS. I mean, you guys are, I, I want to say, basically it's every line of business, every manager who goes, I have an idea or a problem goes, do I need a mobile app for that? I mean, that's right in your guys' sweet spot. What's, how, when do you guys get involved from when they say, I have an idea to, you know, I want to put that thing on people's devices? What's the process? How do you guys make them successful? Where are they, where are they falling down and where are you helping them? Well, you're right, so everyone now has to consider mobile and there's a you know the trend called mobile first, right. right? So think about how this solution, how this project is going to be accessible on mobile devices first before you start thinking about desktop web and the old ways, right? right. We get we obviously get brought into different different places. We have a uh, a strategy and consulting offering, like a center of excellence to come and help them in and basically do business transformation. You know, some customers come to us on day one. Others try to build it themselves and they start to have problems and then they bring us in. Yeah. So at any point in the life cycle, we can usually come in and help either uh, steer the ship or, or right some wrongs uh, or just provide very point solutions to specific problems. Yeah, we, we heard the, the CIO of Capital One this morning saying that mobile is now a bigger interaction point for him. I mean, essentially, he's saying your mobile phone is now your bank, uh, your bank branch. Uh, what other industries are you guys sort of surprised that, that mobile has just dominated what the user experience is? Well, in our, we obviously go across industry, we're seeing the same amount of growth everywhere. Financial services is huge for us, um, as well as anything that has a large uh, workforce, right? So you think of employee applications as well. So we're trying to mobilize those business processes with people in the field. Yeah. Uh, but that's really across industry, but anything with manufacturing, field services, field sales, uh, that's a big growth opportunity for us. Um, but we're still very uh, involved in uh, healthcare and uh, retail banking solutions. Yeah. So you, I mean, you guys, in essence, you're the easy button for mobile applications. It's Correct. how much? Give us an idea. Uh, mobile applications hard. I got to think about UI. I got to think about design. Are you guys helping with that as well as the back end as well? Uh, is it the entire thing? Right. So some people say, well, if I buy a platform, if I buy this thing, I'm going to be kind of my hands are going to be tied, right? I'm going to have to you do it your way. I'm going to be locked in. Um, so we provide se several solutions for that. We have a tool called Coney Visualizer that helps you build a mobile application very visually. You drag and drop. You build it. You can generate a prototype. You can share it with all your business stakeholders via code and an app we have in the App Store. So you can see the prototype, you can give real-time feedback. So we, we uh, accelerate that whole uh, design process and get instant feedback. And that design is multi-channel. 
multi-platform. So you can see your iPad, your iPhone, your Android all in one tool. So we help them design the best experience possible and that transitions seamlessly into our development studio where you can build the binary and go live. So there's no dropping the UX component of your project because we give the design tool and the developer tool as one uh, seamless product. But then there's still customers that say, look, I've got a big native shop, I want to build native iOS and native Android, so we give you SDKs that allow you to build those applications your way using your developer uh, tool of choice. What we provide in that case is a enterprise grade backend. So that's where the MBAS space comes in, and that's the mobile fabric product. Got it. Got so it. let's take a use case, we talked about theCUBE, all our audience knows are we don't really have a mobile app, and they want always, the number one requested thing is, we need more mobile app on theCUBE. Right. They want the videos, they want some research, so do we just use your SDK? Do we spin up a cloud instance? Do our developers do it? Do we hire you? Take me through the engagement process if we were Well, a you customer. can go to Kony.com and click you want to start a trial of Kony Visualizer because you want to see what the app's going to do, right? It'll spin up some backend services for Visualizer. You download the tool. You can use some templates. You know, you may want to you may want to have a login. You may want to have a video widget. You may want to have, you know, obviously a menu. So you have templates in there you can drag and drop. So you can design the application. You can show your, your stakeholders and say, look, this is the app we can build with Kony. They'll get very excited. They'll fund your project. Right? Then you can go and do a trial of mobile fabric, which is your back end. There's obviously a big video library you guys want to be able to expose, uh, customer data, uh, upcoming agenda of, of interviews you're doing in the future. So those are all going to be services that you may already have. Yeah. So you use the mobile fabric product to do all those integrations and also secure those APIs so the app can talk to it. So you'll then build the application, you'll connect it to your back end using mobile fabric, all based on the, the cloud offering powered by AWS, and then you can take that full application back to your, your stakeholders and say, this is the app. And you can get all that up and running in weeks, just on the trial. But it's all API compatible, no problem with APIs coming in fabric. Right, exactly. It's, we've had, JSON uh, feeds, we've no had problem. a whole basket of connectors, right? So we, use, we work with these huge enterprises that have all yeah, kind yeah. of legacy stuff. We have like a mainframe connector, a yeah. MQ yeah. series Jive, connector, whatever you got to have, right? Yeah. Um, so we, that's the big value of us is all these out of the box connectors to get to your enterprise data, make that nice standard REST service with, with JSON payloads, and then we give you a nice security model to make sure that it's secure. All right, so oh. talk about the event here. What are you excited about on stage with Jassy's keynote today? Obviously tomorrow we'll have uh, Werner's keynote. Uh, we expect to hear Internet of Things, which will be pretty hot. But um, today, Kinesis streaming, you got Firehose, you got Snowball, you got databases right. as a service. I mean, they're kicking some serious <laughs> ass around town here with the cloud. Right, right. What, what gets you excited? Well, when we saw the business intelligence offering and being able to bring in a lot of analytics um, from Amazon, that'll be huge for us. So I was texting and emailing and my team saying, mm -hmm. you need to get on this, I want to see you know, real-time graphs <laughs> and I want to use this tool. And when they get into some of more of the, uh, the DevOps and operational things to be able to have your, uh, have your cake and eat it too, like you said, to be able to secure it and make it fast, um, some of the operations guys that were sitting with me, they were over there scrumming and texting yeah. their team, right? So we're really happy. It's a happy. buffet for everybody. Exactly. I mean, exactly. Like, these guys are in the sweet spot. I mean, we've been talking to people, every one of us has said, look, if, if you think you're going to compete with Amazon, boy, you better be living up with the application space. You guys are in the hot application space. It's no longer the desktop, it's mobile. Uh, you know, two million, two billion devices that you potentially have as a, as a market. That's got to be an exciting place to be. I mean, you yeah, got to come around here and not worry that Amazon's going to eat your lunch like some folks here. You're coming in going, man, it's opportunity, it's opportunity, it's opportunity. Right, right, and I just left a meeting with uh, the mobile services guys, right? There's so much opportunity. There's so many solutions that our, our joint customers are asking for. We're showing up in the same accounts because even with the mobile offerings of AWS, we complement each other very well. We're building a connector for AWS Gateway so that uh, you can bring in those AWS, the power of AWS into our MBAS layer along with all your enterprise uh, data as well. And we're partnering with Amazon very closely to make that API gateway uh, open to us. Matt, share with us, final question, because we got to kind of run up on time here, your product roadmap. Share with us your product roadmap. <laughs> <laughs> so, integration with, with AWS is a big piece of that. So, being able to use uh, Cognito for identity, to be able to create the roles in AWS, to call API Gateway, to access the power of AWS. But also, we're looking at, uh, at IoT as a huge space for us, right? You think about all these devices, connected cars, um, they have a tremendous amount of data they're going to want to push into the back end. And our MBAS is a great way to expose uh, the APIs and the security, but we need the volume of AWS to help us with that. So we're also partnering with AWS in the IoT space. Um, and we'll be, we'll be uh, rolling out a lot of demos and, and various things. So talk about the size of the company, funding, all that good stuff, revenue, uh, yeah, whatever so you can share. Yeah, so we're still a private held company, um, but we're, uh, 
we're, we're growing just in leaps and bounds. We're very excited, very happy. Um, we've got uh, you know, hundreds of customers uh, in the you know, top of the enterprise, you know, the Fortune 500. Um, we're, we're very, very happy and uh, we're really excited about doing more with AWS uh, to help us expand because we are, we're trying to get the message out. We, almost are, we have the best technology and we kind of have a small pipe to deliver that to the market, so any, any help we get, it's very, very, very And beneficial. what's on your wish list? You had the magic pixie dust. What would you want now from, uh, from an Amazon or the industry? Um, I think uh, anal before today, I would have obviously put analytics and, and uh, BI at the top of that list, so they've delivered on that. And I need, uh, I need big data ingestion, which they're also addressing. Um, and I also need ways to get our, our solution into the hands of our, uh, of our customers and our prospects. So AWS Marketplace has been great. We're also leveraging uh, AWS Test Drive. So honestly, they're doing a great job. Um, we've, we've given them features, the different product managers we talked to, they've all been great, uh, great responses to that and their support is phenomenal. Yeah, one of the things that we didn't talk about in the intro, Brian, is that, you know, about Andy Jassy is they're very customer centric. They listen to what people want Right, out, of, right. out of Amazon. And they do their best to deliver on that. So, yeah. they have a pretty damn good product team over there. Yeah, like I said, we, we launched two years ago. I guess we started that journey almost three years ago and I think we made the best decision, uh, obviously, with choosing yeah. AWS. We're very, very happy. Yeah. And our CrowdChat application, crowdchat.net slash reinvent, join the conversation, that's on Amazon. We had great success with that. So, uh, Amazon's winning, they got the winning formula. What is that about Amazon? compared to the other guys, what is that winning formula that the other guys need to get going on, the other cloud guys? What do they need to do? Well, I mean, customer, uh, customer support, obviously Amazon's got that right, and just so much offering, and it helps us get our software to market, so we're also leveraging uh, AWS Test Drive now. We're putting some of these uh, packaged applications out on Test Drive so they can come and, and, and uh, try out pre-built, ready-to-run applications for field sales, field services, SAP mobilization, so, they just help us in so many areas. They, they definitely have the formula right. Okay, you're watching theCUBE. We are here live in, in Las Vegas. Matt Terry, the VP of Product Management at Coney Mobile Lab. Check it out, go to Coney.com and check out their, their offerings, great stuff. More greatness from Amazon reInvent coverage on theCUBE. We're going to break it down, we're going to analyze, we're going to kick it around, we're going to talk to the thought leaders and uh, here, and, and of course venture capitalists here at uh, Amazon reInvent. We'll be right back after this short break.